No more hope, Afghan Hazaras live in fear under Taliban rule. A black and white Taliban flag flies over the blown-up statue of a revered Hazara chief at the entrance to Bamiyan in central Afghanistan. Since the radical Islamists swept to power seven weeks ago they have repeatedly promised a more moderate, inclusive brand of rule than during their last stint, when minorities were brutally persecuted. But members of the Hazara community here don't believe them. Everyone is terrified, says Najwa, a 26-year-old local journalist now out of work. It is impossible to believe them. For the Hazaras, and especially for us women, there is no more hope. She and other Hazaras fled into the mountains and they first heard the Taliban were coming, but a week later they returned. Afghanistan's new rulers have declared a general amnesty and promised reform. But fears abound that they will repeat the brutal repression of minorities and women seen during their former reign from 1996 to 2001. The Taliban's return to power has been a particular shock in Bamiyan, home to the famous giant, ancient Buddha statues at the Islamist group dynamited when it was last in power two decades ago. The provincial capital was among the cities that received the most international assistance in the two decades that followed the Taliban's ouster. Women here outnumbered men at the university, and they did sports like cycling and volleyball. Bamiyan also boasted the first woman governor in the country, Habiba Sarabi, who ruled here from 2005 to 2013. Today, she lives in exile in Turkey.